Okay, hey, what's up everybody? I'm Kibikis99, and today I am going to be con continuing and possibly finishing, if this game doesn't mess up again, uh, in this game, and to Drew, the White Wolf, Bicycle Creek. I, t I sometimes put Lodge at the end, I don't know why, I guess because on the Wii game it's called Lodge. Uh, Christy, hey, welcome to the stream, glad you can make it. Why is my... We're not coming up on my. Okay, that's weird. No, oh, dang it! Stupid piece of crud. Keep forgetting I can't do that. Okay. So for some reason, I started right back where I was, and for some reason it didn't work. Um, as you can see, I'm not on nice flow. I'm back at the lodge. So I'm just gonna restart from where it was. Um, I have this zoomed in on me because I was tired of dealing with the blue screen um I actually don't like how I'm sitting right now because I'm kind of slouched like down some because like if I was sitting correctly just well that's not too bad okay that's not too bad um but yeah so anyway let's get into the game uh yeah I'm just gonna yeah, go back to that so how's it about doing tonight or today I will do this. No. 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 Come on, get them on here. Oh, come on. Not making it easy for me. I'm doing great. See that? Thank you for asking. Why isn't it popping up? There it is. Get it, get it, get it. Go, go, go. No! <laughs> oh, there. Get it. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it, come on. I'm mad. I just started the stream. This game is not making it easy for me at all. So, just, just finished season six of Once Upon a Time. Only one more season left, and I'm actually kind of sad. That better not disappear for just a swear. What? All I want to do is lie down. I was right there. I had one more click, and it was there. Oh my gosh! Hold on. Oh my gosh. Okay, that's it. Gotta just gotta do it. Just like keep clicking. And and if I die again on this game, I'm sorry. I'm just quitting. <laughs> there, there. Go, 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 go. Yes! I don't know whose this is or why that wolf left it here, but at least now I won't freeze to death. Yes. I feel warmer already. There's a note in one of the pockets. Hold on a sec, guys. I do not like this, uh, blue on me so hold on a sec I do not like it at all I 
looking at my eyes. You know, I've never seen it at all. It's kind of weird. Okay, I really hate this uh, blue screen thing. I'm really getting tired of it. Actually, hold on a second. Maybe this will work. Since I can't go back the way I came, maybe these tracks will lead me to shelter. Sorry. <laughs> I muted myself when I was doing that. I got another... Avalanche Ridge. Ugh, not exactly reassuring. I got another, um... Ski tracks. Probably Yanni's. I bet if I follow them, I'll wind up back at the lodge. I, uh, I had a really, really dark blue, um... If I don't get warm soon, I may not make it. Uh, mmm, Manny Zero? Hey! Glad you could make it to the stream. Um, I had like a really, really, really dark blue sheet that I used for the blue screen effect. Because a cat was laying on the blue blanket that I usually use and I didn't have the heart to move it, so I didn't. So. Ah, warm again. Um, so, you know, of course I used the sheet, but then that didn't, that sort of caused me problems, like you saw. So, and my phone's on 20%! Hey! Yay! Okay, let's do this. Okay. So, I went yard sailing yesterday. Man, it does not feel like yesterday we did that. My family and I got up really early and went yard sailing. And it was fun. Got a bunch of stuff. I got, like, six books. Some of them wore, um, hardback. And the entire bundle at totally different yard sales and stuff like that were, like... Gosh, probably like six bucks for six books. You have reached Run and Grow Free, a nonprofit organization dedicated to making sure that the wild animals of North America remain wild. No one can take your call at the moment because all of our volunteer staff is busy blocking access to California's wilderness areas in order to protect their cougar, bear, and condor populations. But if you leave your name and number after the beep, someone will eventually get back to you. Especially if you want to make a donation. <laughs> um, but like, it was like, what? Actually, I bet a, like a dollar or two less than that. So like, about like four bucks for six books and one of them being a, um, a hardback. Which is really, really good. And I'm like, you know, because... There's some things in books that I don't like, for some of you may know me, you know what they are, um, and if I don't like 
the books because of some of the content in it, then I can just give them, you know, then I can just sell them and get money back because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking, some of them are like 50 cents. I know, right? Nancy, hi! What the heck happened out there? Oh boy. If only you knew. Actually, I'm not quite sure. I walked out to Icicle Lake to see how you were doing in the fishing shack, only there wasn't any fishing shack. There wasn't even a lake. The ice was all busted up like somebody dropped a bomb on it. Yep. All I know is, after I caught that two-foot northern pike, I walked outside and someone knocked me unconscious with an ice ball. The next thing I knew, there was an explosion and I was on an ice floe in the middle of the lake with no coat and no fish. Somebody decked you with an ice ball and blew up the lake? Holy moly! Probably you. Couldn't stand the thought of losing to a girl. <laughs> har har. <laughs> the good news is you're okay. The bad news? No more ice fishing. Oh my gosh, my nose. I'd better get going. Drop by any time. What's up? So you go to school in California? Yep. University of California at Brea. Is this your winter break? Yeah, I just figured I needed a change of scenery. How'd you hear about this place? What is this, like the Spanish Inquisition? <laughs> hey, give her a break. She's just trying to make pleasant conversation. Oh, right. Um, my car broke down on my way to Lake Louise last summer. Pulled in here to wait for the tow truck and figured it'd be a cool place to visit during the winter, so here I am. What do you think about all the weird things that have been happening around here? I think they're kind of cool. Accidents make life colorful, you know? You wouldn't be saying that if you were the one who'd slipped on those ice-covered stairs or eaten that bad potato salad or had those four flat tires. Hey, I had that broken window. Broken window? I went snowshoeing on, like, the third day I was here, and when I got back, the window in my room was broken. Glass was all over the place. Was anything missing from your room? Nah, it wasn't a burglary. It was like the window just decided to break. I mean... There was no rock on the floor, no bullet, no nothing. It was the wolf. Tried to jump up into your room, but didn't quite make it. That's bogus, dude. My room's on the second floor, and besides, wolves don't do stuff like that. Hey, that wolf does a lot of stuff wolves aren't supposed to do. That's why it needs to be hunted down. No, it doesn't. It's just doing its thing, man. Get off its case. Yeah, dude. Anyway, my window broke and nobody knows why. Pretty awesome, huh? So, you like to snowshoe? I like doing stuff outside. <clears throat> Snowshoeing's about all I can afford. Yeah. <laughs> Think you could teach me sometime? You don't learn how to snowshoe. If you need to get through snow that's too deep to walk through, you slap on some snowshoes and you just do it. Hmm. It'd be cool to snowshoe. Do you ever see anyone else when you're out there snowshoeing? I see that Yanni guy sometimes. I'll be plodding along, and he'll go zooming by. Those skis of his are like rockets, man. He's all like zippy zoom. Do you ever hear explosions? Yeah, and they freak me out. It doesn't take a very big sound to trigger an avalanche. And when you're out there by yourself, nothing will ruin your day faster than a couple of tons of snow roaring your way at 100 miles an hour. Tell, Tell me, me about, about it. it. <laughs> What inspired you to become an art major? Dirt. What? I beg your pardon? I create works of art by manipulating naturally occurring geophysical substances like dirt. Sometimes I just use my hands, but most of the time heavy machinery is involved. Oh, brother. Nobody understands my art. But that's cool. To be great is to be misunderstood. FYI, Ralph Waldo Emerson said that. I'll catch you later. Rock and roll. Um, so by a show of, I don't know, hearts, I guess, would work. Who here is excited for mid? There you go. There, there's my heart. Oh, wait. Hold on. Eh. Mm. Nope. 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 
Nope, don't have any. Sorry. Yeah, woohoo! Oh, by the way, any of you seen... Okay, hold up, gotta stop stream for a second. You Have any of you seen the video that her posted a couple days ago for... It was kind of like an introduction... It, wow, words, Kaylin. Wow. Okay, their intro to for their games and stuff like that, you know, and kind of like an ad, basically, but like for their channel. Anyway, yes, yes, any of you notice? The voice of Nancy! That was the voice of Nancy! I don't know how I feel about it. I read some of the comments and one person said that, you know, I don't know how I feel about it because, you know, the original voice actor, you know, um, like her voice is like ingrained into our minds, so, you know, we're used to it. So, you know, so, I don't know how I feel about it. I know, right? I was like, wait a minute. I was like, no, wait, hold up, no, wait, no, hold on. I wonder who the, I wonder who it is. I wonder if it's, like, some, like, some, uh, person who has, um, been in, like, any, any other games that, you know, that we would know, or that I would know. At least, like, Halo, or Star Wars, or, oh, sorry, and late, but, um, may the fourth be with you on the fifth. Like I said, it was that uh, yard sailing all day. I come on not even joking all day. And um only watched like a, a, a couple of my favorite scenes from um you know, a couple of scenes from Revenge of the Sith, but I haven't really done anything else to celebrate Star Wars Day. And I'm so sad to hear that the person who played Chewbacca in all of the Star Wars movies had uh has passed away on the third, just two days ago. That is really sad. Ah, I'm glad for the chance to talk once again. There is something I must explain. Mm, I don't like the sound of this. There is? What I said before about wolves. It is because my grandmother was killed by wolves. Killed and devoured. Are you serious? All right, Years dead. ago, when my mother was a little girl, her mother, my grandmother, was on her way back from the village on her motor scooter, which was and still is the only means of transportation most Fredonians can afford. It was January, and the sun had just set, and it was dark, very cold. There were thousands of wolves in the countryside that winter. At night, they would roam in huge, hungry packs. My grandmother was halfway home when she came upon a young man waving from the side of the road for her to stop. He, too, had been on a scooter, but his had broken down, and wolves were gathering all around him, preparing to attack. My grandmother, of course, stopped, and he leapt on behind her, and they took off down the road with the wolves, dozens of them chasing after them. But with two people riding it, her scooter was slow, much too slow, and the wolves soon caught up with them. And when one of the wolves seized my grandmother's boot in its teeth and started to pull, instead of helping her, the man pushed her off the bike. It instantly gained speed and he got away. My grandmother, set upon by the wolves, did not. That's terrible. Tormented by guilt, the young man eventually confessed. He went to prison for several years, and the wolves were hunted year-round until the countryside was rid of them. But the damage was done. And so, I'm happy to talk to you about any subject except wolves. About them, I have nothing to say. Ever see Lou Talbot when you're out there training? The college student? Just yesterday, I had to slow down to avoid colliding with him. It ruined my whole session. You're busy, so I'll let you go. It has been a pleasure. Hey guys, I'll be back in like just a second, okay? Give me like a minute.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry, my, uh... Sorry, my brother was, um, on, uh, Facebook Live, and he was showing my niece. So, anyway, what's it doing? Oh, that's what I could do. Oh, hey, uh, Chrissy, can you remind me to call the sheriff? In just a couple minutes. It's made. Haha. <laughs> Bed's made! Hey! Made life easy! Nope, gotta go there. Duh. Thank you! Oh, there she is! Well, who are you? I'm Elsa's replacement? Oh, the new maid, thank goodness. I was wondering how much longer the owner expected us to endure these conditions and still pay full price. I'm trying to learn everyone's name. My name is Guadalupe Comillo. My friends call me Lupe. My name is Nancy Drew. Two things, dear. First, the alarm clock is missing from my room. I don't necessarily need another one. I just don't want to be charged for that one. Seeing as I have no idea where it went to. Second... Be a doll and clean my room first. It'll hardly take you any time at all, especially compared to the other rooms. The other guests are all men. Single men. Well, I'm happy to report that I've already cleaned your room. Excellent. I hate to sound nosy, but what are you doing? Birds. I'm watching birds. That's what I am, you see, a bird watcher. Sometimes I go outside and watch, and sometimes I stay inside. It all depends on what the birds feel like doing and what I feel like doing. What kind of birds do you see here? In the short time I've been here, I've seen hawks, eagles, orioles, cardinals, jays, nothing truly rare. But to a wildlife lover such as myself, seeing them in such a spectacular setting is thrilling nonetheless. Have you ever seen the wolf that's been hanging out around here? No. Uh, not that I'm looking for it. Of course, Yanni occasionally skis by and... That dullard of a student, I see him snowshoeing occasionally. But I've yet to see the wolf. Have you seen it? Yeah, up close and personal, as a matter of fact. How did it act? Was it aggressive? Did it look injured? I found a bunch of wolf tracks beyond the pond. You could follow them and see it for yourself. Maybe I will. Have you told anyone else what you just told me? No. Good. Don't. You see, I'd like to see this wolf for myself, and I don't want everyone else going after it and scaring it away. And there's no telling what that trigger-happy handyman might do. So it'll just be our little secret, all right? Hmm. Sketchy. Very sketchy. Have you met the other guests? I've bumped into them at one time or another, yes. I don't spend all my time in front of this window. Ooh. That Yanni fellow, he's very talented, but extremely intense. His whole life revolves around being the best in the world. As for the two who are always sitting across the way playing that silly game, the older man, Bill Kessler, he's no deep thinker, but he's nice enough. But the other one, that college student, talking to him is like trying to converse with a giant turnip. No social graces whatsoever. I almost prefer talking to the handyman. Almost. Anyone that intent on destroying something as glorious as that wolf is hardly worth talking to. Do you want a book about birds of the Southwest? I might. Why do you ask? Because I was hoping I could borrow it. I'm going to Phoenix next spring, and I'd like to bone up on the birds I'll see down there. Hmm. I'd love to help you, but... I'm afraid I left all my bird books at home. Sorry. I've enjoyed talking to you. Au revoir. Is this yours? What, that bullet? Don't be silly. Why would I be carrying ammunition around? Hmm. Then where'd it come from? It was probably lying there on the floor all along, and you just happened to kick it into view, that's all. This did used to be a hunting lodge, dear. I wouldn't worry about it. 
You used that bullet I found on the floor to alter the sights on Ollie Randall's rifle, didn't you? What? That's so ridiculous. It's laughable. You did it because you're a member of Run and Grow Free, and you're trying to protect the wolf at any cost, aren't you? Burn. Look at me. Do I really look like some kind of wildlife fanatic? I never judge books by their covers, Miss Camillo. Look, I don't want to see anything happen to that wolf either. If you belong to Run and Grow Free, just tell me. I'm good at keeping secrets, believe me. You're right. I am a member of Run and Grow Free. I did make sure that brute would miss if he took a shot at the wolf. And I will do whatever it takes to protect that beautiful creature. We oh, I felt my back in the knee spot, but it won't do it. So, you're here undercover? Yes. Sorry, I was yawning. <laughs> what are you going to do next? That's all I'm going to tell you, Nancy. And if you really are concerned about the wolf's welfare, you won't repeat any of this to anyone. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to go check the computer for birds, and then I'm going to call the sheriff. Boop, 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 Huh. Error. <laughs> um, so I got... Oh, I was, <laughs> I was just getting ready just to walk away. Thanks, uh, thanks, Jesse. Um, so I got a new Xbox game. Um, for Christmas last year. And it's a Sherlock Holmes book, uh, game. If I played it, could I get some help on that? Because I tried playing it. Office. This is I got stuck. <laughs> Hi, this is Nancy Drew at the Icicle Creek Lodge. We met the other night when you were investigating the bunkhouse explosion. Oh, yeah, that uh, bright kid from the States. Uh, what do you need? Well, I found a melted clock face close to where the bunkhouse used to be, and I wondered if it could have been what triggered the explosion. You know, the timer? Yeah, I found that clock face, too. Left it there because any fingerprints on it would have melted away along with everything else. And besides, Ollie Randall said all the room clocks at the lodge looked like that. Could have been one that was in the bunkhouse to begin with. Oh, right. You shouldn't go poking around on your own like that. There could still be explosives lying around. <laughs> Although, I hear it takes a pretty big bang to set off C4. C4? A plastic explosive? And that's what blew up the bunkhouse. Lab result came in less than an hour ago. <laughs> You know, I haven't either, but I'm hoping, like, you know, since we're, like, you know, nerds with these kind of games, I'm hoping that, you know, we'd be able to figure it out. Because I got stuck. Like, I'm not even joking. I, I got totally stuck in that game. And I was like, uh, well, so I guess I got streaming and then ask for help. <laughs> Is C4 hard to get? Well, not if you're in the military or do any kind of demolition. In Eastern Europe, it's called Semtex. It's not that hard to handle, either. For somebody who's had training in explosives, it's a piece of cake. Did you learn anything else from the lab tests you did after the bunkhouse explosion? Nope. Unfortunately, that bunkhouse wasn't particularly well made, so when it exploded, Pretty much everything got melted into a blob, or blown to smithereens, or burned to a crisp. I have it somewhere. Hold on a sec. Okay, I found it. It's called Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. Um, it's rated T for teen, so it's nothing, you know. Um, it says, for the world's greatest detective, the devil is in the details. Investigate at Sherlock Holmes, explore London for clues, and interrogate suspects. 
Here's, hold on. Let me get bigger for you. Here's the cover. And then... I know what the... That stuff. Um, but for what it was... Okay, the beginning of it. I'll tell you all the beginning of it. The beginning of it was... Oh my gosh. It was... Chuck Holmes running through the woods. And... Um... And being back in those days, you know, he wasn't dressed. Um, you know, like with the coat and the tie, you know, he you know, you know, it's like he'd been in a fight or something. Um, and like he's right into the woods and it's snow. And then you don't hear anything. You're the person playing the game, you know, you don't hear anything, but he does. And he turns around and looks and he's like, oh no. And then like he just starts like bolting it again. And then he goes like, at the end of a, like, a little overhang slope thing, and, like, hides here, like, take, takes a breath for a minute, and then he thinks he hears something, and then he, and then he kind of waits for a second, and then he runs, and then him running like this, and then it shows you behind him, and it's a guy that's chasing him, and you see him, or, like, a sniper or something, and then you don't see the guy's face, but you see him hold up the rifle, and then shoot, and then, um, and then you see it in the, in the point of view of the bullet going towards Sherlock Holmes. And then, boom, fades to black. And then I'm like, Wait, no, it can't end like that. It can't, it can't end like that. It can't start like that. But then it, but then it said like three days early or something like that. So it's a really good game. It's a really good game for, for what I played of it, and I just got so stuck that I couldn't figure it out. Do you need some kind of permit to hunt wolves around here? No, ma'am. You mean Ollie Randall can go after that white wolf that's been hanging around outside the lodge and just shoot it? Yes, ma'am. It's always open season on wolves out here. You can kill as many of them as you want. Somehow that doesn't seem right. Well, the animals wolves go after don't have a problem with it. I can guarantee you that. One of the guests at the hotel, Yanni Volkstaya, he says someone threw a bomb at him while he was out skiing. Well, did he see who it was? He didn't see anything except the explosion, which apparently went off right next to him. Was he hurt? No. Why are you telling me this instead of him? Because he's a cross-country skiing champion, and he's convinced it was one of his competitors. Apparently, the governments of the people he's beaten are as ruthless as they are sore losers. So what do you want me to do? I just thought you should know that his life may be in danger. Well, if this Yanni guy wasn't concerned enough to call us, I don't see what good we can do. Life's too short, we're too understaffed, and it's just too darn cold to go traipsing around out there for nothing. Thanks for your help. Have a good day. Okay, just in time to do lunch. You know, it it is, and it's really cool. And you know how like Sherlock Holmes, like the um, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? The master of observation is that what they call him? Um, and in the game, you can use his skills and look in, um, you know, not not like look in, but like pay like if there's a button, um. It'll, like, show up on the screen, click this button to activate Sherlock Holmes' senses or whatever, and then you click it, and then it, and then it hones in on one specific thing, and then you can, like, um, move the cursor around the entire thing to, like, to, like, for, like, text to pop up in Sherlock Holmes' words and say that, you know, they, you know, something along, along, you know, along the lines of, this has been tampered with, and... This looks out of place, and like it's just really cool for you to for you to be able to do that, and it sounds really really cool. So I'm kind of sad that I haven't played it. So I may um, not play Halo on Mondays and start doing start doing um, uh, this game. Um, and if I do, I'm hoping my to Drew nerds would. Um, you know, come help me, because I'm not good at this game. <laughs> I'm not joking. I tried for, like, two hours trying to play this game. 
I kept going back and forth, jumping, jumping between all the, like, the three locations you're allowed to go through in that point in the game, talking to every single person, I'm like, nothing's working! I talked to everybody, I looked at everything, I've been in all the places, what do I do? And finally I just shut it off, I never went quite back to it. Ah, oh, joy. One more, okay. I'm just gonna do this. I'm sad, I'm on season 7 of, ooh, what's my time? The last season, I just finished season 6 today. And I'm sad. Like, no, I don't want it to end. Um. Okay, one shoes, one lettuce. Look, what is it skipping? Onion, okay. Um, no. No, I did two cheese! Cried! Uh. Cheese, two letters. One cheese. Two letters. Two pickles. Uh, one tomato. Okay. One. 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 Order up. Okay. Oh, just in case it is. Just in quesadilla. Yay! Oh my gosh, just quesadilla. Oh my gosh. Thank oh. you! What? Okay, that was weird. Order up. That's this one. Ah, oh, it's both. Dang it. So, Richie, did you ever get those comments? No, you said you were going to. Order up. One cheese, two pickles, two onion, one cheese, two pickles, two onion. Yeah, and one ketchup. Yes. I gotta look up what I gotta do. But my phone is on. 17% and have it on low power modes, so that's good, but, um, I wonder if emails, sorry, getting distracted, nope, okay, lunch, Uh, what's Bill's room again? Colors. Um, Bill. Ah, oh, I was wrong. It's. Okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? No. Yes. It's all. Okay, it's all totally unfair that, and I'm sick of putting up with things that aren't fair. It's his fault, her fault, their fault, that I don't have what's rightfully mine. They are thieves, and it's an insult to have what they stole from us weaved around in my face. I could throttle him, both of them, for what they did. Ju justice shall be served one day, and one day I will have justice. Chrissy, I never read this the last time when I played this game. Last Saturday. So, I wonder if that's why. What do you want? <laughs> you messed with my rival, didn't you? This I gotta hear. Excuse me? This fax just came for you. It's from the wacko left-wing wildlife gang that paid you to screw up my rifle so I'd miss that wolf. How dare you 
talk to me like that. I'm leaving this place right now. Good. You just got yourself an escort off the premises. Ooh. Is that a bad? What you need? I couldn't help but overhear the argument you and Ms. Camillo had. She messed up my rifle so I couldn't shoot that wolf, so I tossed her out. Told her to take her little crusade somewhere else. Do you think she was responsible for any of the other stuff that happened around here? Anybody who deliberately sabotaged a man's rifle is capable of anything. But at least now I know why I missed that wolf. And like I told her as I was giving her the bum's rush. Next time, I won't miss. I'll let you get back to work. See you later. That's for me. Because of the Neanderthal of a handyman, I have been forced to return home. Please call me. When it comes to the White Wolf, there is much for us to talk about. Okay. Yeah, I should have been using this blanket for my blue screen thing a long time ago. Oh, a long time ago, I just shouldn't have used the blue sheet. That's weird. The rock that had the fossil in it is gone. Go back to Chicken Ridge and risk getting caught in another avalanche? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm watching a movie. No, I want to play that game. Wait, what? Huh. Kind of wanted to figure out fi to figure it out for myself, but I may do that if I get stuck while while I'm playing because I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna stream it now. Um. Um, I am going to stream it now. I'm probably not going to play Halo on Mondays and just play this. Um, hope, uh, hope everyone here will be able to, you know, stop by and help me, help me play the game. I'm going to need it. Um, it is really, really cold out here. The snow's so deep, I'm sinking up to my knees. If I want to follow those tracks, I'm going to need some snowshoes. Um... But I can't play tomorrow I night. I can't stop shiver. I'm getting no! sleepy. Getting sleepy. That was stupid. Well, I have a toasty pack. I'm sure I used that. <sighs> I'm starting to get really cold. The snow's so deep, I'm sinking up to my knees. If I want to follow those tracks, I'm going to need some snowshoes. But I can't do it tomorrow because my sister is... Oh, no! Graduating tomorrow, so... 
Got it. I'm gonna go to that. So no shooting tomorrow. If but, I don't get warm soon, I'm going to calm I'm down. Ah, warm again. Um, so I gotta go to that. So you know, I'm not um. Uh, so I'm not gonna be able to stream tomorrow, but uh, next Monday I will definitely start this game. The Sherlock Holmes thing. Uh, gotta call Lupe. So all the way down at the bottom. There we go. Uh, two and three, five, 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 three, two, six, four. Miss Camillo, hi, it's Nancy Drew from Icicle Creek Lodge. Yes, of course. Is the wolf all right? Well, Ollie hasn't succeeded in shooting or trapping it yet, if that's what you mean. If only I was there to protect it. Our organization is trying desperately to arrange to have the wolf captured and transported to a sanctuary. But so far, all the ones we've contacted are full. And unless and until we find a place for it, our hands are tied. Tell me more about the contact you've had with the wolf. After I was buried by an avalanche, it dug a hole in the snow so I could escape. Hmm, it may have sensed you were in trouble, or its behavior may have been totally random. But either way, the fact that the wolf didn't simply run away from you is very bad news. It is? Wolves and humans simply do not mix. While wolves may appear to be similar to dogs, behaviors that have been bred out of dogs after thousands of years of domestication are still instinctive to wolves. Training a wolf to behave like a dog may mask those instincts, but it cannot eradicate them. For that reason, no matter how sociable the wolf may appear, instinct can at any moment rear its ugly head with devastating results for any humans involved and for the wolf. Especially for the wolf, who will have simply been doing what comes naturally. Uh, thanks, Tracy. I hate that for some reason my Twitch thing isn't working. Um, I'm having to use the pop-up, what you all are seeing, for my Twitch, you know, for my chat feed on there. No, what I, no, what you all see popping up is what I'm reading from. For some reason, the chat isn't going to the popped out chat feed off of Twitch. So I don't know why, but it's not going, and I can see it all's chat. So for some reason, that's all I'm seeing. And Christy, I didn't see all of your, all of what you put. But I read most of it, I'm guessing. So the fact that this wolf doesn't seem to be that afraid of people could lead people to think they don't have to be afraid of it. Precisely. It could make them forget that all wolves are, first and foremost, wild. And while we're on the subject, do not ever, ever give in to the temptation to feed the wolf. For one thing, a wolf's jaws are twice as powerful as a German shepherd's. And should your hand happen to get in its way when it tries to feed... I get the picture. For another thing, making the wolf dependent upon you for food would seal its doom. It sounds strange, Nancy, but the very best thing you can do for that wolf is nothing. We don't want to talk to her about all this. Did you ever hear any explosions while you were staying at Icicle Creek Lodge? Yes, as a matter of fact, I heard several. Do you have any idea what caused them? <laughs> My first thought was that Ollie had completely lost it and was going after the wolf with explosives. But when I realized that even he wasn't that stupid, I assumed it was someone clearing an avalanche or a downed tree or something. While we're on the subject of explosions, did anyone ever figure out what made the bunkhouse blow up like that? The sheriff says it was plastic explosives. Wow, that's serious. No offense, but it sounds to me like instead of hiring a new maid, the owner of the lodge should have hired herself a detective. Yeah. <laughs> Are you the one who wrecked all the gear that was in the fishing shack? Yes, that was me. I was afraid that Bill Kessler fellow would encounter the wolf on one of his trips out to the shack and that it would end badly for the wolf. So I did a number on his equipment. I've done worse while working on behalf of Run and Grow Free. Believe me. Do I have to talk to her about everything? Not like mess up at the game? So, are you kind of an expert on wolves? Oh, good heavens, no. Although I probably know more about them than most people do. Which, unfortunately, isn't saying much. Things like what? Well, I know that a wolf that lives by itself, like the one up there at the lodge, a lone wolf, if you will, 
A wolf like that is called a disperser. And I know that 95% of the wolf's natural habitat down here in the lower 48 states has disappeared. And I know some people, a lot of people, couldn't care less. But it seems to me that wolves have just as much right to go about their business in this country as we humans do. After all, they were here first. When you were here at the lodge, how come you had a magazine that featured Yanni Volkstaya in your room? You're very observant. I read the article thinking he might make a good spokesperson for Run and Grow Free. <sighs> but then I actually talked to him. At which point I realized that not only is he a raving egomaniac, but he's appallingly superstitious when it comes to wolves. I put an abrupt end to that conversation. I was afraid he might try to tell me that wolves had eaten his grandmother or something. Uh, you know, actually... Uh, never mind. Yeah, never mind. It's, it's fine. Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Why can't the group you belong to just capture the wolf, take it out to the middle of nowhere, and let it go? Because, unfortunately, there's really no such place as nowhere anymore. We humans are, or can be, everywhere. Plus, wolves can travel great distances. Contact with humans would be inevitable. And since this wolf has obviously lost its fear of humans, it would be an easy target for anyone prone to shoot first and ask questions later. No, a sanctuary is the only place where it would be truly safe. What's a sanctuary? It's a facility where wolves can live out their lives in as natural a setting as possible in the company of other wolves. You mean, like a zoo? No, sanctuaries are usually not open to the general public. And while educating visitors about wolves is certainly one of their goals, their primary concern is preserving the animals they take in. Unfortunately, the more humans encroach on wolves' natural habitat, the more crowded the sanctuaries become. Hmm. Aren't there any government agencies that can take care of the wolf? For the most part, and especially up there, wolves are considered to be pests. If a government agency got involved, it would take care of the wolf all right. Permanently. It gets so cold here at night. Will the wolf be okay? Not only are wolves built to withstand cold temperatures, but they know instinctively what to do to survive in extreme conditions. If they didn't, they would have disappeared from the Earth eons ago. True. Why didn't you just come out and tell the people at Icicle Creek Lodge that you were there to protect the wolf? Because I assumed, and quite correctly as it turns out, that very few people there would be sympathetic to my cause. Had I not been undercover, they may have tried to foil my efforts. Instead, I was able to foil theirs. For a while, at least. That's it for now. Thanks for calling. Oh, and from now on, call me Lupe. I think you've earned that right. So let's call Chantal. Hello? Hi Chantal, it's Nancy Drew. You know who's behind the accident? Not quite yet. Oh. I'd like to know more about the accidents. I asked Ollie, but he said you said he wasn't allowed to talk about them. I didn't mean he couldn't talk about them with you. Ugh. I'll give him a call. As for the accidents, the first thing that happened was the worst. The Farringdale family and Becky the cook all came down with food poisoning and had to be hospitalized. Somehow, the potato salad got contaminated, although Becky swears it wasn't because of anything she did. I cannot tell you how awful it was. All five people became violently ill at roughly the same time. But were they all in the same room? Of course not. They were spread out all over the lodge. Poor Elsa was cleaning for days. And the odor? Oh my gosh. Anyway, then Carl Jenkins slipped on the stairs outside and broke his leg. Then Lou Talbot's window was broken. Then Elsa the maid's tires were slashed. Then the phone wires were cut, and then... Oh, yeah, and then the south weights were almost overcome by fumes when gas started leaking into the sauna. So, who's suing you? No one yet, but my lawyers are afraid it's just a matter of time and are trying to figure out what preventative measures to take. I think I'm on to something, but I desperately need snowshoes. Could you give me the combination to the lock on the display case so I could use the ones in there? I certainly can. 
but I'm not going to until you do something for me. Yay. Like what? I'm going to fax you a survey that Tino came up with. He says you're to fill most of it out by observing the people staying at the lodge, rather than just asking them the questions outright. He says that would put them on their guard. When it's all sailed out, fax it to Tino. The results will help him come up with a profile that will help you to determine which of our guests is responsible for the accidents. Sounds good. Excellent. I'm faxing it to you even as we speak. In fact, it's done. So why don't you go get it right now? I'll wait. Great. Yay. I just hope the questions aren't too dumb. I know, right? Got it. Good. Now remember, when you're done filling it out, fax it directly to Tino. And he wants you to call him before you do so he can turn his machine on. Is it true that you promised Ollie a raise, but you haven't given it to him yet? <laughs> he told you that? I can't believe it. Meaning... Okay, I mentioned to Ollie once that I thought he maybe deserved a raise. And now every time I turn around, he's all like, Where's the raise you promised me? Where's the raise you promised me? Doesn't he realize I have a few other things to think about right now? I swear, sometimes that crabby little whiner drives me nuts. About Dang. Tino, I'm not totally comfortable with the idea of consulting with him on this case. Why not? Two heads are always better than one, and I find him to be very knowledgeable and kind of charming. Do you know what he did when we were on that train trip Lori Gerard arranged? He didn't go into a lot of detail, but he did say that that's all water under the bridge. In fact, I insist that if and when you're stumped about something, you ask Tino to help you out. That's what I'm paying him for. Agreed? Agreed. Good. How come he's getting paid and I'm not? He's not even here. That's stupid. Did you know that some photos are missing from the display case in the lobby? Really? Last I looked, they were all there. I think. The caption for them says something like, Young and old have stayed at Icicle Creek Lodge. I can't remember what they were pictures of. And I sure don't know why they'd be missing. That bone trapper Dan found is missing from its case, too. First the accident, now someone's stealing from me? Nancy, you've got to find out what's going on there. If you don't, I'll never be able to convince my dad I'm not a loser. Ever. How come the entries for last year were deleted from the guest register? They've been deleted? That's what the computer says. Contents deleted. Well, I didn't delete them. Ready. <laughs> Why would she delete something on your computer? You know how kids are these days. Always hacking into computers, programming them to spread viruses and steal passwords and blow up the world. I think that's only in movies. Besides, pretty much all this person had to do was press the delete key. I still say it was Freddy. Last week, I called that Snow Princess game she's always playing idiotic. I think it hurt her feelings. But she'd just gotten done plastering me with snowballs. What'd she expect me to say? That felt great. Do it again. <laughs> I know, Has right? Has talked to you about the World Championship Cross-Country Skiing Competition that's going to be held somewhere in this area year after next? That is something I am not at liberty to discuss. In other words, the answer is yes. I didn't say that. Why do you ask? That would tend to make Icicle Creek Lodge a very desirable piece of real estate, wouldn't it? If the championship is held nearby which, as far as I know, still hasn't been decided. You think someone's been causing these accidents to run me out of business so they can buy the lodge from me on the cheap? Mm, it's a thought. And a pretty nasty one at that. The guests that are in the lodge now, did any of them stay here last year? Let's see. Lou Talbot stayed here last summer, but only very briefly. His car had broken down and he was waiting for a tow truck. Oh, and Yanni, he was here last winter. He and his trainer, they were checking out places to train. They didn't stay long either. Did Ollie tell you that Guadalupe Comillo checked out? Yes, he told me. Did he tell you he pretty much threw her out? Well, good riddance, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, he said she was an environmental nut job. In fact, he said he wouldn't be surprised if she's the one who caused those accidents and blew up the bunkhouse. I don't think so. You don't? I was hoping I could tell my lawyers that the case is closed and come home. I still have to come up with proof. Oh, that. Well, the lodge is probably better off without her in any case. Although she did pay for her stay in advance. And in cash. Cash is good. Oh, well. Anything else to report? 
Did you know that Ollie is building a trap to catch the wolf that's been hanging around? No, but he told me he'd been having trouble shooting it, so good for him. Whatever it takes to get rid of it. But why does he need to get rid of it? It's not hurting anything. It's freaking out my guests, which means it's hurting my bottom line, especially on top of everything else that's been happening. But why not, say, call a wolf sanctuary and have them come and take the wolf away? That would certainly be more humane. Look, Ollie's had a lot of experience with varmints, or whatever he calls them, so I have to assume that he knows best. In fact, I think he used to hunt wolves for food. Or was that bears? Blech. Lions, tigers, bears, wolves, they're all a huge insurance risk for someone in my business. So I don't care how Ollie does it. I just want that wolf gone. ASAP. He... <laughs> He, he what? Ew. Nothing else to report. One more thing. Ask Yanni if it would be all right if I used his name and picture on the Icicle Creek Lodge website. I mean, when I finally have a website, it would be great publicity, okay? Sure. Good. Talk to you soon. We gotta look at the thing. Gosh. You gotta talk to everybody. How can I help you? I really need to get somewhere in the backcountry and was thinking you could maybe give me a cross-country ski lesson or two? Out of the question. I don't have the time, the equipment, or frankly, the desire. I am sorry. Would you mind telling me what planet you most identify with? Pluto. Actually, Pluto's not a planet anymore. That is exactly the point. Pluto stirs up passion and controversy, yet it continues undaunted on its course, as do I. Pluto and I, we are as brothers. Chantal would like to use your name and picture on her website when she gets it up and running. Would that be okay? I'm sorry, but no. Oh, well, so much for that. I have disturbed you long enough. Come back any time. Ah, uh, they're not here. I need to talk to Bill and Lou. Hello again. I know this is going to sound like a strange question, but what planet do you most identify with? Hmm. I guess it would be Mars. You know, that whole god of war thing? I should have known. <laughs> well, I better get back to work. Okie dokie. What's up? Would it be all right if I borrowed your snowshoes? Hmm. No. I wouldn't need them for long, just for an hour or so. Well, in that case... No. What's the matter with you? Afraid of cooties? Let her use your snowshoes. <laughs> I've only got one pair, and they're like precious, you know? Sorry, dude. The answer's no. What can I say? Yes. I was just wondering, what planet do you most identify with? Planet X. I'm sorry, I meant in our solar system. Planet X? <laughs> but there is no Planet X. There will be. So, you identify with Planet X. Planet X. That's my answer, and I'm sticking to it. I'll catch you later. Rock and roll. I'm call Lupe. Oh, it's a number again. Two, one, three, five, 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 three, two, six, four. Hi, uh, Lupe, this is Nancy Drew again. Is everything all right? The wolf's fine. I just have some questions. Like what? This is going to sound like a really weird question, but from what side of the bed do you usually get up? Why in the world do you want to know that? Oh, please don't try to make me explain. <laughs> well, it's a harmless question, I suppose. Let's see. I get up on my left side. 
If I were to ask you which planet you most identify with, which one would you say? Earth. No, wait. Make that Venus. No, Earth. No, actually Venus. No, Earth. No offense, dear, but that's a very silly question. Tell me about it. I need to get back to work. Call me the instant anything happens. Okay, I can do all of it except the paprika. So, um, left. Both. Right. Right. Cross Angeles. Brea Toronto. Which is for the right I did. And Elapsit. There we go. Then Earth. X. Mars and Pluto. Okay, now we're just going to what? I'm going to skip to six so I can eat dinner. I'm staying out of there until I have to fix a meal. You do have to fix a meal. <laughs> okay, two eggs, one yellow pepper. Oh, no, right. <laughs> Two egg, one yellow pepper, one spinach, one spinach, two carrots, one, two, two cucumbers, one, two, three, then paprika. Order up. Two salmon. One three one 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 three uh two one four three two one one two three Gosh, everybody wants. Two, two, one. Dang it. Okay. Two, two, one. Two one three one one. Two one three one one. Two. Two one. I oh, know, right? One. One two three. One. One. Order up. One two one. One. Two, one, three, one, one, two, three, 
One, three, two, two. One, two, three. Two. Order up. Then two, one, two, one. Two, one, two, one. One carrot, one cucumber. One carrot, one cucumber. One, two, three. No, oh, and by the way, don't go adding paprika to Lou Talbot's food anymore. He hates paprika. Okay, then. No. Yes. No, no. I did it. No. Now let's go call Tino and fax him the survey. Uh, three, two, three, one, two, five, 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 three, seven, five. Hey, Nancy! I was wondering when your number there was gonna show up on caller ID. This is Tino Balducci. Remember me? From that last train to Blue Moon Canyon we went on? Yeah, I'm the one who helped you find that long-lost treasure. No, you didn't. I'm not sure helped is the right word, Mr. Balducci. Please, call me Tino. In fact, Tino, I'm a little surprised you're still in law enforcement, considering some of the unethical, if not illegal, stunts you pulled back then. <laughs> hey, that's all behind me. Ancient history. Water under the bridge. So, looks like we're gonna be working together on this sabotage thing, huh? Looks like... So Chantel sent you my little survey, huh? What you think? Well, the questions were very... Ingenious? <laughs> That's not quite the word I was going to use, but... Anyway, I did have one question. You wanted me to fill out the survey for everyone at the lodge but Ollie. Why is that? Because Ollie's an employee. Um, so? Nancy, in my experience, which, let's face it, is far vaster than yours, Employees don't do stuff that's going to endanger their jobs. And if these accidents force Chantel to shut down, Ollie be out of a job. Ergo, Ollie is not a suspect. No offense, but I think you're wrong. Oh, yeah? Well, tell me this, Miss Smarty Boots. How much is Chantel paying you? Huh? How much? Um, nothing. Well, she's paying me. So what's that tell you, huh? That you're ripping her off? Um, that you're a professional? That's right. I'm the professional here. So, be done with the survey? I sure am. Good girl. I'll just turn on my fax machine here. Okay, let her rip. He is so stupid. Alright. Nice work, Nancy. According to the survey, our perp is none other than our bird-watching champion snowshoer, Bill Kessler. But Bill Kessler likes to ice fish. Guadalupe Comillo is the one who likes to bird watch. Yanni Volkstaya is a champion skier. And Lou Talbot likes to snowshoe. Oh. How did you come up with that survey anyway? I put it together using this profiling kit I saw advertised on the Detective Channel. It was supposed to be foolproof. You know, maybe I just need to look at the survey data from a different perspective or something. Mm. Yeah, maybe the answer is there after all. And I just gotta shuffle things around in order to see it. Oh, hey, uh, before I forget, Chantel said when you finished the survey, I was supposed to pass some numbers on you. Said it was the combination of something? Yes, to the display case. What is it? Seven, six, six, nine. Anything else I can do for you? That does it for now. Always a pleasure. Hmm. Man, I hate him. Seven, six, six, nine. That did it. And all right. Ugh. I feel sorry for the guy who voiced him because you know he's just getting 
down by all of us fans, you know, because he's just a terrible person in the game. Yep, I just claimed. Dang it. I would actually, like, throw a fit. Well, not really throw a fit, but, like, get upset that he was getting paid and I wasn't and I'm the one doing the late work for the case and he's just staying there going on his computer making up stupid surveys I know, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we gotta do now. I'm just not gonna cook breakfast, I don't feel like it. So... Time to go... Outside! Nope. That away. If the note doesn't pop up here when I'm done with this part of the game, I swear I am going to be mad. And probably just not finish streaming this game. Honestly. If it if it like doesn't show up again. Yeah, I mean, I've already been playing for an hour and 26 minutes. I'm gonna stop soon anyway. Um, but, oh my gosh, if it doesn't do it, then I'm just not gonna finish playing this game. Uh-oh. If I don't get warm soon, oh, yeah, yeah. I may not make it. Looks like some kind of house. Could someone be living there? Hello? Is anyone here? <clears throat> Doesn't sound like it. The Rest of My Life by Julius McQuaid. Yeah, I'm gonna be mad if he doesn't. So once I get her attention by saying her name, I can give her commands. Ability to sort objects by scent. If she has an object in her mouth, she'll sniff then drop the object near another object that has the same scent. Pinevale Hospital. <sighs> Isis, stay. Toasty pack. Wonder what this is. Looks like there's a phone number on it. This indentation looks just like the one on that plaque in the lodge where that missing Rex bone used to be. Alright, if it doesn't pop up here, 
to make it so loud and getting off and not finishing this game. It would be scary to be out here all by yourself. It would be really scary. Come on, Dainty. You can go faster than this. I'm really tired. Yesterday I got up at like seven and stayed up till about like midnight. And then um and then today for no reason at all I got up at eight forty five and I'm like, why am I still awake? And then, and then I just stayed up and now I'm kinda of regretting it. Ah, <sighs> much better. I was really cold. I am the champion. Who's this from? Meet me in the sauna in the basement. I have some interesting information for you. A sauna sounds good to me. Score. Yes. <laughs> okay, let's see what I got to. Hospital nurse Blake speaking. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. I'm trying to locate a man named Julius McQuaid. I think he may have been treated there on Christmas Eve. Oh, yes, Julius McQuaid. I remember him well. Was he a relative, dear? All right, me too. You mean he passed away? Yes, dear. Viral pneumonia. As I recall, we admitted him and he was gone less than 24 hours later. Well, I wasn't a relative and I didn't really know him. We had kind of a mutual friend from his appearance it looked as if he'd spent the last several years holed up somewhere in the wilderness that's why i remember him i felt sorry for him living all alone like that actually he wasn't alone he was with our mutual friend well that's good to hear you weren't able to locate any next of kin no i'm afraid we weren't Aww. when he came in all he had were the clothes on his back no wallet nothing we turned his clothes over to the authorities along with his remains, but last I heard, they weren't able to locate any relatives either. I'm sure by now he's been cremated. Well, thank you for the information. Sorry the news couldn't have been better. Goodbye, dear. Oh, that's sad. So I was supposed to do the, um, test here, if you know what test I mean, and, um... And I, you know, I gotta go all the way back there. I gotta go all the way back there just to have her say something and then turn right back and go back there. Oh, I should have done that there. Um, yeah. Cause she goes so stinking slow. So, did you watch the video that her shared when they announced, um, mid's release day? Like, the video that they had shared is on, like, like, 12 seconds long. It looked so good. Oh my gosh. Possible sauropod scapula. Take to lab for precise ID. Hmm. Maybe I can use Isis and her incredible sense of smell to figure out who owns the notebook I found outside. All I have to do is get something from each of the people at the lodge. Something that each of them has touched. 
Then let Isis figure out which of their scents matches the scent on the notebook. Um. Would it be okay if I skipped to the next day? Because I, I remember as I was cleaning the rooms that I probably shouldn't have. Um. But would it be okay for me to just like skip to the next day? Cause I need to get washcloths from all the people. Feeling kinda snacky. I feel warmer already. Well, that's the part I was gonna end on. <laughs> Yikes, looks like Yanni has good reason to be so paranoid. Ah, something that Ollie has touched. Cool. Because I was going to do that and then, you know, do the ISIS test and then go, like, go to the sauna and then stop. Cool, I'll just get the next thing then. I think I'll keep one of these washcloths. Yay. Dang it, no, turn around. Oh, what am I doing? I need to put the thing down the chute. I'm gonna be finishing uh, the first Tomb Raider game to uh, Tuesday. And it's only taken me four days to complete it. They're playing about an hour and a half on each day. Because I'm not even joking, I've played the game like 20 times. And that's not like an, you know. I'm not like over exaggerating that like I'm being serious. So I'm pretty excited. Then I can move on to the second one. Then the third. Then I don't know when I'm playing on Tuesdays. The scents match, which means those notes belong to Lou Talbot. <laughs> Done. Almost there. I 
feel warmer already. Now what? Lou Talbot, charged with trespassing, vandalism, and theft, found digging on private property, creating a piece of earth architecture, inspired by Maverick artist Poppy Dada, of keeping the dinosaur bones dug up in the process. Dinosaur bones? Dun dun dun. Okay, now let's do the song. thinking yeah um okay everybody whoa hold up let me just do that for a second hold on twitch save definitely save okay then move this here hold on figure don't remove that by myself. What's wrong with that? Oh, okay. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Don't know why I just exited the game. Let's get to that. No! Stop it. No! That is gonna bug me! Mm. Okay. Just gonna leave it. <laughs> okay, everybody, thank you all so much for stopping by, for watching me stream. Um. Uh. Yeah, I hope you all will be able to join me Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time when I finish Lara Croft's journey in the Tomb Raider game from 2013. Um, I will not, as I just said in today's stream, I will not be streaming tomorrow because I'm busy. Um, and I hope you will be able to join me Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern Time when I continue playing Joel Miller's journey in The Last of Us. And next Saturday when I don't know what I'll be doing. Next Saturday, we're playing one Nancy Drew game, but I don't know what. And overall, will join me next Sunday uh, when I can finish this game, Nancy Drew, the White Wolf of Icicle Creek. And Monday, when I'll be starting Sherlock Holmes's <laughs> um. Journey in Sherlock Holmes, The Devil's Daughter. It looks so good. Um, I will, actually, I wasn't sure this here, but I don't feel like trying to deal with trying to make sure it goes okay on here. But I will post a, um, what's the word? Trailer. There we go. I will post a trailer to this game. Christy, I will tag you on Twitter uh, so you can see it. Um, yeah. I cannot wait to show this game. I really, really, you know, loved it when I when I first started playing it. So, you know, maybe I'll, you know, go to love it even more when I start playing it and get some help. Okay, everybody, uh, please like and follow me on my social media sites. It's all right there for you all. If you know, if you want to follow me on any of those, um, and yeah, uh, this video will be up on my YouTube soon. I hope you all enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my YouTube if you haven't already. Uh, like this video and comment down below if, you know, you enjoy it. And, yeah. I feel like there's something more for me to say, but there's not. So, hmm. Okay. I'm gonna go. Bye, guys!